Let's go. Morning, everyone. Staying here. Gonna be finishing Conquest Bad Fur Day today. Thank you, music. I, I expected there to be no music to that. I forgot. It's not really that, um... Not really that involved. Alright, let's get started. I remember there being more to the Matrix theme than in this game. <sighs> You're my turn, Logo. Well, it had a good run. <laughs> this is one of the last games in the, uh... This might be- is this the last game on the N64? I, it can't be, right? I'm looking that up. Martha. Did we just see the actual death of the N64 logo? Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 was the very last game released, and it was only about a year after this, so it was close to it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, we are finished with Spooky, and we're about to start the next chapter, chapter 8, second to last. Alright, so if I look, it took away all my lives, so I'm just gonna load. Oh, by the way, I did learn 2310 is the highest amount of money you can get in here. However, there are only two, um, there are only two pieces of, or bundles of money that are quote-unquote optional. Okay, let's watch this first. I'll talk about this later. So it's almost certain that you'll get the next amount of money. The Midday Feral War. In other news, Kino Nurse Love Trial? I don't know what that said. Oh, once again. Your country needs you now, boys. We are fighting an enemy like we have never encountered before. They are evil beyond reproach. Where they have come from, I do not know. But we need to send them back to wherever it was they came from. We need you, soldier. Yes, you. Sign I'm doing my part. Sign it up, station. We should be one near you. And remember, soldier. Your country will be indebted to you. See, there was a little bit of music in the background of that. That made it so much less creepy. <laughs> I know this game doesn't have a lot of room for incidental music because they used it all on voice, but holy crap, that made so much difference. Everything just feels sort of off without music in the background of these scenes. Alright, we're headed out to war. Look for me later, boys. I'll be a man. I went to war, little girl. Came back a man. Okay, I went to war a middle-aged woman. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. properly right son we have a problem oh eight thirty boat must arrive at said destination here but oh eight twenty five wait oh 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 eight oh shit tell you what that shit you sonny look back of a sauce for kind of guy yeah I don't care much for the a tire 
but let's see if you can redeem yourself. Here is the mission. You may accept it as you wish. One, clear the way. We have got to get our men out of here pronto. We just got a war to fight. Two, clear the way. Oh, uh, f that shit. What are you waiting for, Sonny? Get that dang thing out of there. Right. See you in the boat. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been Oh, f*** that shit. Master of the mental proclivities there. Alright, that was a lot of work to say. Just get rid of the plane that just crashed. <laughs> so long. I mean, people in this game need to talk faster. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so I don't want... Do I want that yet? I think I, I think I actually do. Okay, that doesn't help conquer. Okay. I think, yeah, I have to... I have to take him over, but I don't know exactly where. Alright, let's just get him going. We'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. Could we please have this conversation somewhere else? I, I think I'm starting to gag. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a bit of a problem, and, and it's kind of like, oh, yeah, well, I'll come out now. All right, so much like the dinosaur in the previous chat, well, two chapters ago. I, I guess I, we're gonna have to. I seem to have this thing attached to my back. I'm gonna have to I, walk I, very slowly I while he follows us. It it's fun. Um, the game insists uh, that it's uh, fun. You need more about that. Come on. Let's go. Oh, oh. I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get around back there and, you know, give me a hand. I don't think uh, I'm gonna be behind you. Well, okay. Oh, good. I get to push him. <laughs> ah, much better. Uh oh, uh oh, not, not, oh, no, 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 turn, turn, turn. Not that way. Okay. He turns. He does odd things. Oh. Okay. This way. Oh. Okay. So any ramps he'll slide down himself. Oh. Alright. Note number one. <laughs> Lock that shit. Camera moving would be very helpful. Oh, wait. I just remembered. I did change the camera controls. Alright, so this should lock it. Love that sound. Beautiful sound. It, can I push this too far? I think I pushed it too far. Alright, that should be sufficient. Let's get another one. I don't know how he got into the bathroom without me seeing, but... I love that metallic clink sound for the footsteps. It's used in Shadow Man, also. It's one of those... Oh, another one. Hi. Sound effect library uh, things that I always love to what hear. What do you mean? I don't suppose... Yeah, I know. Toilet paper. Come on. Come on out. Okay. Hold up. I am not comfortable in my seat right now. Hold up. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Uh-oh. This actually looks like you might fall off the edge. Oh, alright. So now I need to figure out... I think I need to go both directions, but I don't know if I have to go to one before the other. Give me just a second. Let me uh, assess the situation. Well, that looks like shit. Alright, I think I can do it either way, but the one to the right looks easier. And again, I forget that my camera controls are on the C-Stick now. I had them on the face buttons. 
Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. So we're looking out for that shit. Got it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna avoid it, so basically I'm just gonna save scum it. Yeah, we're gonna save scum that. Hopefully I won't get in oh, oh. hopefully I won't get into any situations where I am completely in the wrong place when I save. Otherwise this will have to start over. Most of this chapter is gonna be me safe scumming. You'll see why when we get to the war. Oh. 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 Shit, dude. Dude. Oh. So anytime you see something oh. like that, that means I, I oh. go to this uh, quick save. It's cheating. But it's cheating I'm willing to work, live with. Oh. There we go. I'll get it here. Good idea. I think I have to set him off. Alright, next one's gonna be on, yeah, and then two to the left. And then the next one's on the right. If I remember correctly. Yep. Two to the right. Oh, that's a two chocolate. Oof. Ugh. Ouch. My bones. Alright, I don't think I can get another one until I set this guy off. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, how do I... Well, obviously I can do something here, but I think I have to clear this off first. How to, how to do that? There should be a pad there for me to light there. Maybe I do have to do both before I can use the pad. Let's see if there's another one real quick. Nope. Okay. So I do have to figure out how to, how to light it off. Softlock my soft lock myself. So there should be a pad here where I can use a conflict sensitive command. How do I clear that off? I mean I don't have much to work with here. I don't see any levers, I don't see any but I don't see anything I could actually do here. I need something on the water. Oh, oh shit. I don't like the sound of that. What's the, what why why the music? Oh, eels. Electric eels. Nothing in the boat. I'm gonna have to look this up actually. relatively sure that there's supposed to be a context sensitive button on that promontory over there. Definitely can't get another one. The guy is locked in. Sitting over there. Nothing up there. The water is full of electric fields. Nodes are down. They need to have some electricity put through them. How are you gonna do that? I don't know. Suffice uh. to say, there's an electric eel in there and some things. I leave it up to you. Oh, thanks for the hint. Uh, let's see here. Electric eels. Okay, so I have to get an electric eel to follow me through the power nodes. Got it. Right, come along, my friend. Follow me. 
There's one. Hopefully they are not tied. Alright, alright, whatever. Let's go. Hey there, Blackbird7. I see what you're saying. I need to, first of all, power this up. I'll look at the chat in just a second. <laughs> kind of avoiding an eel here. Alright, come on, buddy. Through the node. Through the node. You can do it. Okay, he's, he's lost interest in you. Let me get some air. Alright, here we go. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Good boy. Alright, now he's dead. I have the utmost respect for our troops. My girlfriend's husband fights for me. Cheers. Hi there, Blackbird7. Oh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining me. We're going to finish this game today. As long as this chapter doesn't destroy my will to live, that's always a possibility. But I don't have that much will to live in the first place, so it's not that hard to do. I mean, I like existing. It's just not all I do. Hey there, Exter. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Alright, now I have it. Fucking button. I always think it's B, but it's oh, it's it's Z. I should remember it is Z. That was wrong. A bit higher, maybe. Oh, I see it's too low. Still too low. There we go. I used to live uh, near a military base. And yeah, I mean, it was a bunch of young guys, so a lot of them got into trouble. I usually just tried to avoid that. You always saw them out at, um... There was like a hookah bar that they always hung out at, but... I do every once in a while. And, oh fuck, you can always tell the military guys. Because they're the only ones with haircuts. <laughs> Alright, so I've got to get another guy and take out the other side of that plane. Boom, baby! Life itself is just a really big pyramid scheme. It kind of is. I mean... We honestly live like we do just because of all the experiences of the people before us. I guess if you want to call that a pyramid scheme, yeah. <laughs> it, fits the, it fits the definition. Unfortunately, there's no way out of it. This one you have to stay in. You're not gonna Lululemon your way out of this. That said, if you are part of a pyramid scheme, or multi-level marketing as they prefer to be called now, get out. Don't, don't put that shit on your family and friends. Get up, dude. Luckily, I've never gotten into Facebook, but I hear a lot of people are like, man, people I've never <laughs> talked to in like 30 years. Oh, it's not that way. Not that way. People I've never talked to in 30 years are now contacting me. Oh, motherfucker. All right, reload. Oh, crap. I don't know when the last time I saved was. There. I saved there. Thank goodness I'm not so dumb. It can be, but I feel that not all people are trying to trick others for their own gain. Oh. Like in Pyramid Scheme, that's true. Oh. At least there are good actors. Oh. Oh. I think people get into Pyramid Schemes that I'm gonna get smashed, aren't I? Okay, good. Um, I think people get into Pyramid Schemes thinking good intentions. At least I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. The ones that start it are the- Oh shit! That was close. Oh. Oh. The ones that start it are the ones that are... The oh. irredeemables, I would say. I'll just stay here. You but then it's so easy to get into things that are actually not that great in the first place. Like a lot of charities these days are either political platforms or just don't do what they say they're going to do. Like for instance, I don't want to shit on um, Susan G. Komen too much because, you know, they, 
her sister is kind of a jackass and they, she named it after her and then basically they just take in a lot of money and they never do anything. They raise awareness, quote unquote, and never actually contribute to research and cancer um, prevention. Basically, the entire charity is just coffers for the CEOs. You don't have to raise awareness, awareness about cancer. We're all aware cancer exists. I've given up. I haven't given up on all charities. You just have to be careful about which ones you give your money to. It's one of those things where it's like, do your research. <laughs> there are help. There are aids that will help you. T will help tell you if a charity is all just a CEO slush fund, or if it actually does good work. Stuff like Medicine Sound Frontiers or Doctors Without Borders, good charity. Um, I don't really. I don't really uh, donate to anything else, so you'd have to look for yourself. <laughs> Even Red Cross disappoint. Well, I mean, Red Cross, uh, they have to work in very difficult situations a lot of the time, so I understand sometimes if they can't do what they want to do. Uh, I, I got rid of the plane. What am I supposed to do? Oh, probably hop in the boat. how I got in the military too. I suffer a lot of head trauma and end up in places I don't mean to be. That is kind of something, yeah, they should give back donations if they can't do the thing they were planning that you donated for. That is kind of fraud. Ow. Somebody hit me on the head. Huh. Where am I? What's this doing? They also engage a lot of frivolous lawsuits, but going on here. Okay, thirty seconds. Nice knowing you guys. Oh yeah, anybody who is traumatized or has PTSD. Maybe not even think to look at this is in fact Saving Private Ryan with the OQ animals. It is exactly the first scene in Saving Private Ryan. So, yeah, warning about that. It's pretty graphic. This is a cutscene I expect no music in. It would have been a lot more impactful if all the other cutscenes had had goofy little cartoon music. Heck, it might even be impactful if this one had cartoon music. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a fun scene if anybody has war trauma. It helps the goofy little cartoon characters, but I think they pushed it as far as they could. Yeah, like this. <laughs> this is actually in Saving Private Ryan. It tracks a little differently when it's a gray li little gray squirrel. I agree. Alright, so this is where the safe scumming really starts in earnest. Uh, these sniper nests are instant death. And it's almost impossible not to get hit by them. Like, they've got these... Oh, they're not instant death. Okay. Okay, so they reload. Um, what are these called? Uh, Czechoslovakian hedgehogs? They're called hedgehogs. And then there's a nationality in front of them. I think it is Czech... Maybe? It's some... It's some former Soviet bloc state. I'm gonna die. It's 
it's really easy to get hit, even if you are undercover. All right, we made it. All right, the instant death comes later. This is it. I, I think. Yeah, I'm the only one. It's uh, not enough. It's not enough. What, what? What's going on here? Teddies everywhere. This is the last assault. It's not looking good. Hey there, Halo 79. Thanks Teddies. for joining. Always love to see you. I hate these guys. Get your head down. Uh, this is crazy. Yeah. We've been locked down here for the last ten hours. Brutal, up there. But we just landed. Was that you think? I'll be fine. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. No, no, he's just sleeping. He's sleeping in a pile of strawberry jam. Hey there, Queen Mo. Thanks for joining us. Always love to see you. My favorite little teeny guy. Okay, soldier. Move it out. Alright. And again. The gameplay shifts again. We are going to be doing a uh, over the shoulder. Uh, would this even be considered over the shoulder shooter? I mean, it's over like it's here. Like, what the heck kind of <laughs> shooter would this be? Unfortunately, I I also have to hold down the R button the entire time. Can I put away the guns? I can put away the guns if I so choose. Okay. It's all up to me now. Uh, oh, I need to find the key. <sighs> Alright, let's put a save here. Oh, good sidebar art for this one. I am now celebrating the liberation of our country from Nazi. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm supposed to have a key. Am I just... Oh, I think I'm just supposed to shoot the lock off. I think that's just to force me to press B and find out about my guns. Yep, okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's just sleeping in a pile of strawberry jam. He'll be fine. Got myself a fat burrito with leftovers. Sounds good. I had a breakfast burrito myself. Store-bought. I just gave up on breakfast today. <laughs> Alright, so this next part of the game is pretty much pure bullshit. And you're gonna see a lot of safe scumming. Save here. There we go. You have to shoot these guys in the head to kill them. Just like the zombies. Which makes this part of the game extraordinarily difficult. You can knock them down with body shots, but they're not gonna stay down unless they're head unless you hit them in the head. Maybe they do stay down. Maybe this isn't as hard as I thought. I thought I was going to have to get all headshots. Oops. All the yeah, that guy had definitely killed with the body shots. Alright, this isn't going to be as hard as I thought. Still going to be hard, but not that bad. Alright, let's find some chocolate, if I can. My girlfriend was just like a spicy burrito. It hurts when she left me. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I don't put spice in it. I can't. My stomach would destroy itself if I put any spice in anything. Alright, here comes the real piece of shit. You gotta get across these barriers, and I believe they're... Okay, they're not instant death, but they are two... Two chocolates per hit. Am I, is it possible to get through here without getting hit? Yes, okay. I thought I could crawl. But apparently no. And every so often there's going to be teddy attacks. Like they expect you to move through this entire part use this. Like that. Dude! Right, I'm expecting more. More! How are the 
there are two behind there. Why isn't there enough space for two? You can crawl too. Hold on. Oh! If I hold Z. Oh shit! Uh, there will be like two sections that are a pain, yeah. Okay, gotta thread the needle here. Oh, but first there's a the teddy. I'm not doing well. Yeah. The game kind of wants you. The game kind of wants you to fail and memorize this section over and over again. How did you survive? This game is a chocolate ad compared to the Pepsi Man game. I oh, fuck me, dude. Like, when they appear, I don't have time to pull out my guns, so they want you to keep your guns out the entire time. Except when you're jumping over lasers. I'm sure there's going to be one on that box, and probably one that comes around from behind it. I was wrong. <sighs> Not going well. The objective is to get through this part with as little damage as possible because we're about to go into a giant room filled with teddies. There's going to be one on this box and maybe one that comes around behind. I see a thing up there too. Alright, I see they're going to fall from above. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if I can trip them separately. Perfect. That's all you want. Okay, there's going to be one on the box, I'm pretty sure. Or behind it. <sighs> Alright. Oh. I think this is, yeah, this is an Aliens reference. Pretty sure it might be something I'm not that familiar with, but I think it's an Aliens reference. It's definitely used in Silent Hill 2, but I believe that was after this. Surely it can't get any worse than that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just older than I used to be, but I enjoy the music. It's an offensive. It could be worse. Oh wait. Oh yeah! I forgot that you can reload. Alright, A button reloads when you have the, uh, things out. Got it. Of course. Uh, this is not good. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> Alright. So... I can think I can trip these before the next laser. Alright, and then as soon as I jump over this laser, there's going to be more. Dude! I don't know what happened there, but he just decided not to aim anymore. What the fuck? Oh, I accidentally hit load instead of save. Alright, saving. These guys did not see a god that, control, that can control time coming. I see you over there, what are you? Oh, I think that's a flamethrower. Yeah, he's invincible. Alright, you can also see their burn pattern on the other wall. 
I don't know what is with Conker, but he does not want to stay in aim mode. And it's gotta be something to do with my... Oh, I see another teddy back there. It's gotta be something to do with my control scheme setup. Because a lot of the time, he, he's just dropping out of control, uh, aim mode randomly. Oh, that's the dead teddy. Okay. There's another flamethrower there. I think if I save while in aim mode, he drops out of it. Alright, going pretty good. I'm sure there's going to be teddies coming at me during this whole laser segment. This is how I always did it when I was a kid. I have to do this part slow. I cannot go quickly. Good thing it's not under any time constraints. I can see they're going to drop from the top and probably jump on the box. Question is, which one's going to happen first? They're kind of using the Jet Force Gemini method of playstyle here, but also it's worse. Jet Force Gemini I love, but the control scheme is... oh yeah. <sighs> that wasn't supposed to happen. The control scheme is awful. I forgot. I can't jump while I have guns out. And I know they're gonna throw some teddies at me. He's jumping further than I thought think he's going to. Alright, I imagine some will be coming around the corner. Dude, I was shooting well before he stabbed me. I'm reloading. That's that's bullshit. I was shooting well before they started stabbing. Alright, I do see that they're gonna drop from above. Probably two. Nope, just one. Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing A. I keep meaning to press A, but end up pressing B accidentally. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. Um, I think I want to go to the side. Oh, I see. I have... Oh my god, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Of course, this is the last thing they throw at you. There we go. All right, I think it's for the big time for the big room fight. Yep. Oh, what? Oh, this is a bit different. One of those guys. Oh, more teddies. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. I mean, what if you were to give this game to yes, say twenty yes. intelligent people? I mean, what would that do? Let's face it. What would it do? Really, that's interesting. What the f it's that bloody squirrel? Quick, into character! Alright. I don't think I need cover here. Yeah, these guys are all going to be very safe, I think. I don't know if they even have any ranged weaponry. I think they can throw those scalpels at me. Yeah, basically I just gotta keep them going too close to me.
I have no idea how many rounds this can be waves or whatever. Oh yeah, they can't throw their stuff at me. But their aim seems to be a little off. I think that's it. That was weird. I remember having a lot more trouble with this. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, my God. This is you. Could you get me out of here? I, I think it's that switch over there. But be careful. I think the other one is, you know, frying tonight. Yeah, um, just, just stay there. The cavalry has arrived. <laughs> Sorry. You can move. Let's see now. Um, do you know which switch it is? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's written on it. Um, yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny. Okay. I think they're both wrong, but give me just a second. I'll look around the room. Body chunk tag, tank. I think we've all got one of those in our living room. Pretty standard stuff. Oh, this one's got two, though. That's pretty, uh... It's pretty high class. Okay, oh, is this... Oh, this is a morgue. Can I get in there? No. Wait, why, did my, why are my shoes suddenly bloody? Oh, because I'm directly over a blood pile. I see. Alright. So, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna run this twice. I think this is... Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter which one you pull, pull first. There's no saving this guy. He's okay though. He'll, he'll, he'll live. He'll be fine. Oh, hang on a second. I think it's this one actually. Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah. He just fell into a bag of charcoal for a while. Well, what do you know? I'm not quite dead. Thanks for that. Feel a bit strange though. How do I look? You look great. <laughs> I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> See, told you'd be fine. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. And <laughs> load. Okay. Alright, so he does have to reload. I'm not sure if I can kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, he can, he can spin. What am I supposed to do here? Hold up. Am I supposed to shoot him? I can see other pieces of cover over there. Alright, is this... Nope, doesn't seem to be anything there yet. I run out there and hit him as quickly as I can. I fried up leftover kebab in chili oil and then pan fried my tortilla and put lots of starch on my kebab, rolled it all up. Sounds pretty good. Alright, I think I'm supposed to take this thing over. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? What hurt me? What the fuck? Hold up. Oh.
Alright, hold up a second here. some radar like they did for the last time I was in one of these. Probably coming from the side now, yep. Side soon. I think there's only two ways into this area. I don't know when they're gonna end. Not yet, at least. Alright, hold up. Let me reload. Aiming on this thing is a little weird. And very... Very sensitive. Like, I am just doing tiny movements and this thing is going insane. Oh, good. Well, that was close. <laughs> I made it, though, by the skin of our teeth. Uh, let's see. So that's the way forward, I believe. Let's look for more chocolate first, though. Oh, good. Alright, not so bad. Not the best idea since my stomach was already slightly upset, but worth it. Yeah, I'm having a bad gastro day myself. I'm not gonna get too deep into that though. Let's see here. Got spider mine legs. Master plan. Alright, that seems like a really, really simple plan, but... Oh. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the sniper nest. Any you last requests? Me, uh, just let me go, please? Nah. <laughs> Should you enter out? Sent arms. Should to you aim? aim. It got it. For it. Time. For it. Time. Use a target. Should and fire. Guess they've got grenades now. Could you move the camera behind me, please? It'd be very helpful. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where 
see. Oh. I was just hearing background noise. War. War never changes. Even war between teddy bears and squirrels. is a little bit different to the usual army regulation attire. What what is it? Oh yeah. It's uh, experiment number G seven two two four. I'm the first to be fitted with this. It's an indestructible uh titanium laminate. And it never comes off. So well, what does that mean? Oh uh it means if somebody shoots me, I don't die. Really? That's a pretty good idea. I'll get me some of them. That's the only one. They're very expensive. Anyway, stick behind me and you should be alright. I can be your Operation Squirrel Shield. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Right, which way? Ah, uh, teeny meeny. Miney? No. Right, let's go. I would say it's the only direction we haven't been yet. Let's conquer. This place is pretty linear. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna look around real quick. Shooting range. We've got a door over here. That's the way forward, I think. Is this the way I came from? Oh. Is this just nothing? Alright, it's nothing. Okay, that's the door I came from. Alright. You said this thing behind you, but you're following me. Can I push him? No, I can't. Alright, so I think I have to move forward a bit and then jump back whenever there's danger. First, but then he's still following me. Ah, yeah. Okay, so. Ah. Got it. I guess I have to look out for bombs from above, too. Like that! I'm just gonna take this slow. I say the rodent is pretty cute. I hope he lives. Here's another one! Get behind me, quick! Get behind me, Satan! I feel like there's gonna be a bomb. Yep. Probably a scorpion around here. Nope, I was wrong, Bob. There's the spider. Oh. Man, they really want to stop Cocker. Although I guess this is the squirrel forest is bombing the base. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I gotta get through the door. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do that for that. Oh, one of these again. Oh, 
It's still a... It's still a cutscene. Alright, I got chocolate anywhere? Oh no, Teddy's galore. What the fuck? That was immediate. I was immediately dead. Okay, I'm supposed to take out the teddies first. Got it. Okay. Okay, are the teddies already dropping in or do they wait until I start shooting? do anything about those sniper nests, but I also don't think they can actually hit me. Okay. So it appears to be as soon as I start knocking apart the lock, the teddies come in. Alright, is it here? Do they start now? Yeah, they start as soon as I go into this mode. Alright, this feels like I'm doing this wrong, because I'm definitely gonna die. Alright, I don't know how I'm supposed to... I think I'm just supposed to do this quickly, like I did the first time. That was immediate. I don't know how I'm supposed to survive this. Alright, let's get in, let's get out of here and get into the water. Basically, I'm supposed to go quickly into the door? I don't know. I don't know what they want me to do here. Because last time I did this, it was immediate death. Like, there's no... there's no invincibility. Like, as soon as I get shot, it's over. No idea what they want me to do here. As soon as I take one hit, it's immediately over. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to stay in this mode and kill them all. Job. Fucking hell, I'm missing them every single time. Hold on. Let me get... Let me sit up straight. I'll get this. Don't worry, I'll get this. Oh my god. This. Let's see if I can just let's see if I can just cheese it and get the fuck out of here. Ah! 
Probably not, because again, as soon as I take a single hit, it's fucking over. There's no way I can recover from this. I have zero chance. How about if I go in front of here? Oh no, I'm not even safe under here. They fire straight through the straight, straight through the dock. Holy crap! Like I can't even get to a point where I can use my regular guns on them. Alright, well I guess we're starting over. Is the door open at least, or do I have to redo that? Okay, the door is open. So at least there's that. Look, dude, I just want to get through the door. Leave me alone. Hmm, at least there's no teddies in here. Oh, a tank. Now that may come in handy. Oh, no, he's a military nerd. What did he got one? Hey, where are you going? doing in there? When this tank's a rockin', don't come knocking. Alright, how do I work with this? Is that all I need to do? It looks like there's- yeah, I can zoom too. I think that's all I need to do with this. There's gonna be a lot of that. Yeah. That's a bad idea. Well, hopefully that opened the door on the outside. But whatever it's done, I think it's one of those let's leg it moments. Yeah, probably. Oh, good. I was worried it was going to be... I was worried it was going to be, like, acidic. Like, touching it would kill me. I guess I do have cancer now. <laughs> I either had superpowers or cancer, or both. Okay, now I actually use the tank. should fall down. Oh, is it actually falling? No, it's just swaying. Alright, I gotta find another angle on that thing. How do I bring this down? I think I have to go in the tank to do it. Good luck! Or you get the worst of, worst of both worlds. Super cancer. Oh shit. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Get off of 
me. Okay, it's really stupid that there's no... Oh, can I put out the light? I don't think I can put out the light. Oh, uh, wants to put some chocolate for me back here. Oh! Wait, no, it closed on me. Hold up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I saved after I knocked down the top, uh, knocked down the, uh, drawbridge. But I had not. Sadly. Can I tell you to show up before I go over there? No, I've got to deal with them. It would be helpful if the tank could aim where I'm, like, just aim at the enemy I'm about, I know I need to kill. It'd be very helpful. Dude, it should fall over. It should absolutely fall over now. Literal tank controls. Are you fucking me? Okay. Reload. Reload. I can't reload while the game is actually loading. It takes a long ass time. And of course, Conker wants to jump out on the wrong side of the tank every time. Are you fucking serious? I think, yep, the tank's gone. Conquer! There's a lot about this that should be a more automated. It's harder than it needs to be. Stop, stop, stop! Like, he should jump out on the correct side of the tank that's, like, not gonna get him killed. There's no reason for that. In the tank, thank you. Okay. So, it's only got one leg left. I have no idea how this thing is staying up. It's the world's most erect tower. Proud, upstanding, untoppable. Sorry, brain was elsewhere. Alright, get in the tank, get in the tank, get in the tank. Get in the tank. Yeah. Uh oh, that's not good. Can I back up over? Yes. Dude, if you could just aim at the thing I'm interested in immediately, that would be really nice of you. Thank you. Alright, now it has zero legs. Somehow it's still staying up. There we go. Alright. for a penny and for a pound, I suppose. Uh, any chocolate? Are you gonna give me a refill refill before this? No, they're not. Oh, there's some. Oh, I see it. How much do I need? Two. I think once I stand, yeah. The boss fight's gonna start right here. Or maybe not. Alright, 
gonna save right here and try to get the boss dead. Like, I'm gonna try to do an honest kill on this guy. Girl, whatever. Mommy! Ow, oh, 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 my mommy! Mommy! <laughs> oh, and, and oh. Take the shot! Don't wait! Oh, just kill! Hello! Help me! Please! <laughs> you see a little girl in the middle of the, uh, little girl. enemy battle? <laughs> Face? It's dangerous around here, little girl. I don't think you wanna be here. Um, hi. Have you come to rescue me? What? What is that? That's the, um, inverse phase sonar. It's like Men in Black. You see a little girl where she doesn't belong? Just take the shot. What do you know about that? Uh, school? I never learned things like that at school. Anyway, what is it? It fires a missile, I think. A Teddy Funken U-47 intercontinental ballistic missile. It's intercontinental, missile. dummy. Yes, like that one. Don't, don't you worry, little girl. I'll rescue you. Oh, goody, goody. Yeah, her parents are bound to have some cash. Conquer, you are stupendously dumb. Alright, let's take out some subs. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. What's supposed to do here? I think it is a specific order. I think I'm in the wrong order right now. Oh, oh, oh. This one does seem yeah, okay. This one is brighter than the other side. Again, it would be very helpful if they could start me off in a direction that would be helpful. Okay. That side appears to be lit up now. Wait. Oh. I think I've got more to kill on the other side first. Yeah? Okay. There's more. Spell. I think that's gonna hit me. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna wait for that one to go off first. Come on. Alright. So if I wait for the heat. I, it's supposed to use a radar to find me after the fact. Like if it launches then it uses radar. Yep, there it is. Now I should be able to Shit, I'm too close to the edge, and I'm about to break. Son of a bitch. Alright, where are you? Okay, yeah, this one's dead. Where are the next subs? I'm always looking for a good sub. Oh, there it is. Now I gotta deal with two at once, beautiful. This one's probably gonna hit me. Yep. God damn it. Okay. Don't wait for the second one to fire, then I can run out. There we go. 
It takes so long to get the get the uh, bazooka out. And to put it away. Camera isn't helping, of course. Knock them out of sync, and now this is going to be a little more difficult. Wait for the second one. Okay, they are moving now. That's the best the I have got there. There's only one left. Did he disappear? Let go. There. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> yeah, that was a blast. Right. Now, to sort out the ransom. Uh, rescue the little girl. Girl in the middle of a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. enemy okay. base. Come on. Don't trust her. Try and get you out of here. I don't care how cute she is. Uh, what the? Oh, you guys! Puking on me. I don't think anybody gets exorcist references. I didn't. I didn't get the exorcist reference when I was a kid. save right well I'll wait until I'm out of danger. Alright I'll put a save right here and then jump in the tank. Quick get out of the way. I'm taking over. I'm not exactly sure what now, I'm supposed to do. Oh. Lesson one. Elizabeth. This is my minigun. 
It fires 8,000 rounds per second, brass cased 8mm with tungsten alloy heads, and high explosive charge. Very, very messy. Alright, so I think I'm just supposed to get into some shelter here. Although I seem to be dying very quickly. Alright, we're gonna restart that. <laughs> um. Can I skip this? I can't skip this. Okay. So, let's get into cover before she gets her guns out. There we go. Alright, that's where I'll start from if I die this time. This is my mini that was kind of dumb that they it didn't give me a chance to get undercover. Cased 8mm with tungsten alloy heads and high explosive charge. Very, very messy. Alright, I assume I'm gonna have to wait till they... Okay, I cannot try... Alright, I can't try to aim at the same time. Whenever I drop the gun to aim mode after driving, it's gonna point me in a random direction. Uh, Alright, reloading. Alright, so the problem here is that the aiming on this tank is awful. And every time I go into aim mode, I do not know where the tank is gonna be aiming. Alright, let's get that chocolate. down. I don't know what she's trying to do here. But I think I'm gonna have to hit her. I miss the chocolate somehow. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, I'm reloading. Alright. So, when she's knocked off, oh. When she's knocked off, I believe the port on his back opens. But again, the problem is I have no idea which direction the gun is going to be aiming every time I turn around, or every time I go, in and go into aim mode. I miss the chocolate again somehow. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to put a bomb into his backside. Why are you going that way? Okay. This is f***ing stupid. <laughs> Like, I should think that the gun would be aiming at him, but no, it's like, it's way off. Alright, okay, I'm gonna turn. I think there's a port in his back I have to shoot now. Yeah, but I have to have a better angle on him to do it. Okay, that's how I definitely got him. There we go. God damn, this is difficult for no good reason. Alright, next lesson, let's get undercover. Ah, now this is very special. High energy inverted magneto laser with a six pronged attack. This time, would you please grab the chocolate? Thank you. Alright, what am I supposed to do? It's not... It's not going to, like, give me a chance to do it, is it? Oh! 
Okay, so the gun is not aimed in the right direction. It's aimed exactly like it looks. But for a while there, it felt like it was just not correct. I don't know. Warheads, of course. Don't fancy your chances very much, Mr. Squirrel. Alright, let's turn again around. Turn it around. Alright, so I just gotta wait for the volley. Or break in the volley. easier to go forward. Mainly because my brain doesn't work backwards. Oh, I thought I got it. Okay. Dude, get get back. Get out of my chocolate. Thank you. Alright, I think that's the break. Here we go. Alright, knock the girl off. Okay, she didn't go the right direction. Okay, I can I can keep shooting her away. There's a little section here where oh. I can shoot them off. Oh, the, the tank's gone. Well, it served as well. Rodent? Rodent? Oh no. He didn't make it. He was a great guy. A superb soldier. A military tactician. And yet... He was mortal, like the rest of us. Maybe take his honor? At least we showed that bitch who's boss. Mr. Squirrel! <laughs> Guess what? The show's not over till the little girl sings. Ooh, what's this? A little red button. I think I'll press it. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. That? Okay. Lovely I remember this part. Stuff. This is gonna suck. I wonder what's going to happen now. <laughs> remember how earlier I said <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a timer on this? I honestly forgot this part existed. <laughs> Self-destruct. <laughs> oh, give me strength. <laughs> Alright, so again, same thing, but faster. Gotta go all the way back through the base. And there's gonna be teddies the whole way. And of course they have perfect aim, because why wouldn't they? And of 
course, I'm gonna be safe scumming my way all the way through this because I don't want to do it for you. Can I crawl? I don't think I can crawl under this one. I think I actually do have to thread the needle. Are you fucking serious? Okay. There we go. I don't think there's any chocolate here. Alright, uh, I think I have to go here and crawl. Yeah. Nope! Yeah. Alright, there's definitely gonna be teddies here. God, just let me get up there and crawl. Are you fucking serious? Stupid. Okay, can I just crawl here? No, I cannot. Okay. I do believe the correct way to do this is to crawl. But I have to do it at the exact right angle. And it's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna piss me off as much as it possibly can. I think I can just run out. Timer doesn't stop though, and I was wrong. It's a trap. Wait, where did I get... Where did I get the bazooka? I don't see him, where is he? There he is. I see him back there, but I can't hit him. Oh, okay, good. I think the timer continues all the way down the beach, so I have to do this quickly. 2.30 seems doable. You'll see what the problem is when we get out of here. Alright, so, no more sniper nests. No oh, actually the sniper nests still exist, but we've got teddies. Teddies with rocket launchers that have absolutely perfect aim and will never miss. Not even a little bit. So, gotta wait here. Yeah, as soon as they fire, if you're not under a hedgehog, you will die. There are ways to avoid it. Like speedrunners, you'll see, will jump their way through these this part of the level. But also, I'm not good at it. Alright, go. They also fire all in unison. I didn't get lucky. Alright, I 
these are a little too chaotic for me. Oh, okay. Do I have the gun out or do I not? I have the gun out still. I thought I put it away. Yes, I did. Okay. But I'm also moving the wrong direction. Got it? Okay. Let's see if we can get more studies. I can't even see. I'm stuck under the hedgehog. Alright. So... If I turn around and aim... I did not get him. Shit, that's still the wrong way. Okay, so this way looks clear. Alright, good. Wait, wait for me! Wait for me! Please. That part is a fucking what? nightmare. Hey guys, hold the dirt! There's another one! <laughs> oh my giddy on! Snipers! <laughs> Get out of here now! Come on, let's go, let's go! We gotta get our asses out of here, Prado! Let's move it! Alright, if that was painful to watch, just trust me, this is probably the most bullshit gameplay I've ever seen. Like, I don't know if they're going to make war realistic or whatever, but... <laughs> oh, you're awake. Come over here, boy. Come on, look at this. Yeah. What's a terrible thing, you know. You're right there. All these fine young men sent off to do the dying. Those big wigs, those pen pushers, those guys who never ever see a single bullet this past their heads. We want to get them down here, those so-called generals in their big fancy houses, 20 miles behind enemy lines. Who are they to tell us? Who are they indeed? Look at that. What a sight. That's right, guys. Yes, it is. Let's go fight and die for corporate interests overseas. The horror. The horror. The door got knocked out for a second. Uh, yeah. Now I remember. Countdown. So, oh, if anybody ever tells you to fight for your country, then sends you to a different country. Uh, kind of, kind of think about what that means. Recognize that boy? Time later. Oh, just standing there. <laughs> he, just, he got off the boat and he waited for a couple hours. Alright, so that closes out the worst chapter of any game in, in, in gaming history. I will, I will say this is easily, easily the worst thing I've ever played. And every time I play through this game, I have to remember, chapter 8 exists. Do you really want to do that? And then I usually just don't play the game.
Oh yeah, I was supposed to talk about the amount of uh, money in this game. Uh, there are precisely $2,310 in the game. You have to have $2,100 and you have to get the $10 in a story. Um, you have to have $2,100 $2, to ride the barrel before a, a Spooky, which is Chapter 7. Uh, which means there's only one optional... You, you can only miss one bundle of money before that. And then the one after Spooky, you can not pick up if you don't want to. So there's really only two optional bundles of money in this. Oh my god, this gives me this. Oh man, I had a... I had a frog in my throat there. There's really only two bundles of money in this game that are optional. Any single hundred dollar bundle before Spooky, and then the one after it. Uh, let's see, is this the way up? Yeah. It's hard to tell sometimes. Sure, that was the final level. Oh well, obviously not. Ah. Oh, Rosen! Rosen! Hey, it's good to see you, man. What happened? Ah. Oh, bit sore, but you know what? I reckon that that suit really works. I was flying through the air. Next thing is, bam! I saw this thing coming towards me. Kind of like a windmill. Um, doesn't seem to be there anymore. Well, I guess the suit also cancels all inertia. Nice still, eh? So, what's happening? Um, I'm not really sure. But, um, the war seems to be over. You might as well go on your way. Give my regards to the guy. Yeah, I will. Catch you later? Catch you later. You can buy me a pack. Okay. Cocker. Can I just say something? <sighs> yeah, that depends what it is. It was a real privilege working with you. I, I have to say, that if ever I need to go on an operation such as that again, I hope that it's with you. Oh, oh. very nice of you to say so. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, soldier. Um, this man. <laughs> what a great guy. Idiot. All right, one chapter left. Uh. And luckily it's just one set piece and then a boss. Very quick, we're nearly done. Whoa. Just gotta pull a bank heist. I thought I told you to leave town. But seeing as you're here, anyways, me have a little job for you. Oh, not another one. Look, can I just go home, please? I said, we may have a little job. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Like, these pants are so uncomfortable. Oh, I would be lying if I said this oh, didn't really? speak directly to my adolescent mind. You look great. <laughs> Just really? I thought you said you didn't know this guy. Oh yeah, I know him. He's like my boyfriend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm her boyfriend. Am I interrupting something here? When you two little lovebirds are finished with your reunion tata tea shit, maybe we can get on with the job at hand, please? Okay, okay. What do you want us to do? Okay. Since your little escapades with those cavemen kind of put me out of business. Hey, now I, I don't need to replenish to my funds. Here we have it. <laughs> Feral Reserve. The Feral Reserve Bank. Hmm. Okay. But I'll do it on one condition only. <sighs> what? I don't think they were familiar with I get an furry outfit. terminology. That's cool. What Feral actually is hers. Hmm. 
deal. Uh, how come his isn't as sexy? Oh, I'm already controlling it. Yeah, I would be a lot. Oh, off she goes. I'd be lying if I said that Barry's costume in this part didn't just speak to a primal part of my brain. Let's, let's take a closer look. Yeah, I was a big fan of the Matrix at the time. And so was everybody else. It sort of fell off the radar after the second and third movies were terrible. But, um, yeah. If you liked a certain aesthetic, this was absolutely right up your alley. And, uh, maybe later we'll get to go right up Barry's alley. Alright, let's do this. I actually still haven't seen the fourth movie. I hear the Wachowski sisters really tried to put the entire series to, <laughs> to, like, just put it in a grave. Understandable. It's really only one movie. And maybe the Animatrix. Please place any metallic objects in the truck. <laughs> I almost feel that this was added last minute after somebody watched the Matrix on the dead team. God, the early 2000s make fools of us all. Okay, apparently it only goes... Alright, so I get it. So the range of my bullets is only one, uh, one of these. Oh my god, this is a childhood game one. Hey, hey, triple A gameplay, good to hear. Uh, it came out when I was a teenager, but childhood game, close enough. Alright, so my bullet range is apparently only one set of pillows. Whenever you hear the yell regroup, that's when you want to jump out. Otherwise, they're just going to kill you. Also, hi, Triple A Gameplay. Good to see you. We're just about done with this game. Just got this one big set piece and the final boss. Glad to have you here for the end. I need protection over here. Coming through. Somebody protect me. I think if you I wait too long, you also lose through. protection of the pillars. This is honestly easier than I remember. I remember having a huge problem with this section. Hey there, Blackbird 7. Oh, <laughs> I've already said hi to you. But I'll say it again. Hi, Blackbird 7. Uh-oh, I'm exposed. This is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, I used to have a lot more difficulty with this section. Maybe I've just learned my lesson. Come on, help me out! Oh, oh shit, you got lucky. Yeah, as soon as they say regroup, they're gonna gather together. He got me. He got me. Oh shit, you got me twice. I think this is the last load though. 
Alright, except for that, uh, final problem. I got through this pretty quickly. I thought this would take a lot longer. There might be one more. Oh, nope. Wow, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Oh wait, no, there's still one left, one, one left, one left, one left. Yeah, the pillar... I do lose the pillar though, it's a... Alright, I think one more wave. Having to eat chocolate kind of ruins the immersion. I don't know. I think I think the Matrix, the people in the Matrix, actually ate chocolate in order to get bullet time. They just overloaded on caffeine. That's how it works. So you didn't see it. It was just slightly off camera. They were just always eating chocolate and drinking Mountain Dew. That's how bullet time works. In case you didn't know. Barely any damage. Basically looks like I wasn't even there. <laughs> One pillar has a tiny chip out of it. Hmm. Give me a break. Don't worry, it's in hand, okay? By the way, I need to get a microphone that removes yeah, all of my knuckle cracking from the <laughs> recording. Speaking of which... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but after pretty much after every major section of the game, I'm cracking my knuckles. <laughs> Probably picks up on the microphone quite often. I don't have good joint health. God, I bet Conker is wound well, up like a motherfucker there. there. <laughs> Materialist. Well, you can talk. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, where do I start? Come here, my little beauties. I know if I were Barry, I would be Somebody having go. some major sweat issues in very sensitive areas. I hope she powdered. Hey, what about me? Hey! Those pants are never coming off. Yeah. They're glued there by sweat and friction. Some money over here. Hey, over here. Come here. Sometime later. <sighs> Finally. Got it. <sighs> oh, cool. Millionaire. <laughs> I'm a millionaire, Barry! Hey, Barry! Ba, 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 what are you looking at? Ba, 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 Conquer, huh? honey! Oh, oh finally! Here they come. Here they go. Hi, Daddy! Uh, uh, Panther King! Sorry, that slipped out. Oh, he's just wearing a robe, guy? too. Can I climb under there? Barry, you know who he is? You got me. they had one sci-fi section of this game and they're like just throw everything in there throw star wars the matrix uh we've got aliens coming up just throw everything you can unless he's the fabled panther king but he was just in stories like my mom used to tell me to get me to sleep looks like he was real after all i wish they'd tell me those stories to fall asleep panther king No. Well, that's gay joke. No, as in, like, furry, as in ephemeral, like a fable. It was the sad legend, time. you know, like, sort of, doesn't it, doesn't matter. Oh, no, doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not for you. Weasel. Right here, boss. Your bounty. Ah, 
Thank you very much. What are we gonna do with it? Him? You will leave him to me. So you're not gonna kill him? Not exactly. Step aside, Conker. I know how to deal with men like this. Such loyalty misplaced. Get rid of her. Easiest thing in the world. Sorry, dollface. Business is business. Adios. No! Barry. What the? Hey, mind we is... Barry? <laughs> Oh, hey, Barry. It's always weird to me that they killed her off. Oh, it's, no. just like, it's okay, she's sleeping in a pile of raspberry jam. She just likes raspberry jam. She eats a lot of it and then she falls asleep. You feeling all right? Weird to me that they kill off Barry like just completely unceremoniously. Oh, Isha, how are you feeling? Good. The sooner we get this squirrel in place, the sooner I'll get my milk. Good. It's getting. Ah, yes, that's right, my Lisa. It's about be getting worse. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That actually makes a little more yeah, sense. Yeah. In this version, it's kind of like yeah. somebody read that major character death was something that a good story needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That major character death was something that a good story needed, but just did not know how to make it impactful. What? Like, she's dead, and then everybody just kind of just goes on with their lives. Like, nobody cares. I am here to come. Not sure what's going on here. It's just done, and then Conquer is just the same. He's like, hello. Oh, fellow got it as my head is. I think the latest that listen to my plans is a part. A lot of this game just feels very improvisational. Like they were in the writing room, like, okay, what happens next? Oh, alien chestburster? Yeah, go, do it. Barry dies? Yeah, sure, throw that in. Take it. About to annihilate your scroll. Not in a fight. You're living from Lynn. You cannot help but admire his beauty, his power, his voice. He is not a fun of a picture, is he? You're right there. He's not. Just ignore him. Right. I'm f if I'm gonna live in this world and in this castle. So out of debt. I have something known as technology. Hey, cause. Into orbit. Yeah. <laughs> see the power of liquid nitrogen mixed with oxygen, two parts petrol? Yeah. Then I'm gonna get home now. Heinrich? Kill. Alright, first things first. Warning. Warning. Airlock open. Air pressure compromised. <laughs> So 
been set for no good reason. <laughs> the uh, people who own the rights to aliens can sue for that. I just have to remember how to do this fight. I don't quite remember how to do it. I think I'll just run up and start punching. Uh, Alright, so B punches. Oh shit, I'm actually almost dead. Okay, yeah. I remember how to do this. We have to Bowser this shit up. Okay, I have to get slower to start off with. Alright, once she leaves the ground... Alright, I think I just gotta do this twice more. Although, I'm probably gonna die because I've only got one piece of chocolate left. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll just start over from the beginning of the fight. Alright, I'm gonna press save. Wait, I'm gonna have to watch the whole thing. Oh, I can skip it. Alright, so I'll put a save right there. Oh, alright. I'll load from there whenever I am about to lose. Because <laughs> otherwise you're just watching me restart the fight over and over again. I do my best not to say scum my way for this fight, but it's honestly pretty boring. Warning. Warning. So long, Gay Bowser. Aw, damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't think she could hurt me by biting me like that. Alright, I gotta start off slow. There we go. Warning. Warning. So long, Gear Bowser. There, that's how it works. Alright, I don't think she gets any new attacks. It's just tail spin and face bite. Seems like a Netflix cartoon. Is he a spin and face fight coming this fall? Alright, one more and she's dead. The first one did say he. Oh yeah. Yeah, he can dodge now. But in Aliens, all of the aliens were either female, as in the queen, or sexless drones. Uh-oh. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Alright, we won! Good game, everyone. Now we watch the 20-minute ending. Locked up. Ha! I don't believe it. What is this? Is this the testing department's day off or something? 
<laughs> you know what? I don't think much hmm. care was put into the QA of this game that at all in the first idea. place. Um, hello? Uh, if there are any software engineers that can hear me, just, uh, type something in. All right, yeah. I didn't hello. type that. Right. Here's the plan. I won't I have a tell software anyone engineer, but I did that not type there's been that. a lockup, quite a bad one at that, left in the game. If you will say, well, I don't know, help me out with this guy here. What do you think? Nah. Hmm. Nah. Solve your own problems. Um, get rid of this background. It's really grimy. Ah, that's better. Oh, uh, God, my eyes. Weapons, maybe? Oh, I just got flash bomb. Oh, cool. Let's see now. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, no. What about... Oh. 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 Yeah. That should do it. Uh, double action. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Right. Okay. Take me back to, say, the throne room. Cool. Now, Mr. Alien, let's see. Okay, let's get into position. Ready? Just check the shot. There we go. Right. On my mark, and then I'm. You know what? I think they either have something not melee based for Three, an enemy with acid blood. Two. One, and action. Whoa. Oh, oh no. That's a bit volatile. Well, we'll clean that up later. Well, I suppose that's it. Anything else? Who are these guys? Oh, hello. You again. Oh, uh, if it isn't Conker. How you doing, Mr. Screw? You have I didn't defeated think of this at the, the evil panther-type king. But Conker didn't even yes. know of the existence of the throne room. We didn't like him either. In fact, he's never been here. There seems to be an empty throne. So bloody right, that is. Come on, Conker. A punch to throw here. you. What? But I... No, you don't understand. I don't really want to be king. I... Uh, oh. Oh, no, I forgot to... I should have brought Barry back to life. Oh, no. See, he doesn't oh, even... Oh, Ah, oh, thank God. What are you doing? Get off. It's okay. It'll be good. And the rest of the guys. Marvelous. Yeah, I like it in here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, King! <laughs> <laughs> king! You couldn't be king of a toilet! <laughs> yeah, you're a king of a toilet. <laughs> you don't know how close you are. You realize that? You just do not know. Uh, uh, sir. Sorry. Oh, God! Yes, King! I don't know what that! Can, can I be your general? Oh, no. Of all the people in the world that I don't like, I'm in a room full of them. I've heard the good news. We came back from holiday as soon as we could. Just to celebrate with you on this wonderful, momentous occasion. Didn't we, ladies? There we go. The king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah. Long live the kid! Long live the kid! <laughs> yeah, yeah, long live the kid! Will you stop repeating me? I'm not repeating him. Long live the kid! <laughs> yeah, long live the kid! Long live the kid! Long live the kid! Long live the kid! Long live the kid!
you know who these guys are now? Cause I certainly do. I don't want to know them. And yep, I may be king. I have all the money in the world. And all the land. And all that stuff. But you know, I don't really think I want it. I just want to go home. With Barry. And, I don't know, have a bottle of beer. Hmm. It's not gonna happen. It's true what they say. The grass is always greener. And you don't really know what it is you have. Until it's gone. 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 Yay! Depressing ending. Alright. We are done with Conquer. Uh... So, I don't know. It's actually, looking back, this game is not very good. It's obviously... I don't want to say influential or important. It's more like Nintendo was, at the time, not letting anything mature on any of their systems. This is kind of an early example of breaking out of that mold. And I think a lot of people at the time were like, oh wow, that's amazing. But really, the game is pretty bad. <laughs> Overall, the gameplay is awful. The, uh... Except for one specific part, the entire game is... kind of a chore to play. So, you know what? Good work. It's a game. That's about all I can say for it. I did like playing it when I was younger. And again, a lot of it was just the edgelord status. Uh, the multiplayer is pretty fun too, but I didn't have anyone to play with, so that really didn't, you know, color my opinion at all. Basically, the game is... It, it's okay. I wouldn't call it great. <laughs> and except for Rock so Club Rock Solid, I don't really enjoy playing it that much, so I don't know why I do it every couple years. I usually just get to rock solid and just stop playing. Anyway, dismally, the credits roll on. I'll just go ahead and say thank you to Healer0079, Blackbird7 Twitch, AAA Gameplay, Weenwall, and uh, I think Barnabas. Oh, XRSB. Thank you all for talking with me today. And everybody who watched on Twitch in the past, everybody watching on YouTube in the future. I love you all. Um, next up, I'm thinking I'm probably going to start Final Fantasy finally. So we'll probably have a couple, like a week or two of Final Fantasy 1. What I'm thinking is I'm probably just going to split it up into, like do a Final Fantasy game and then a shorter game or two. And then the next Final Fantasy game and just go in that pattern for a while until I get sick of Final Fantasy. I'm going to try to make it through at least six. But we'll see how far I stick to that. Uh, nobody's really watching, so I don't have anyone to send anybody. I don't even know anybody's uh, streaming right now, so... <laughs> and there goes the last viewer. <laughs> hey, at least I got it out of the way. I was kind of a, I was kind of um I was kind of bad at myself that I was playing this game right before I started actually str like this was I played Donkey Kong 64 and then I started playing this and then that's when I like got a microphone and I started actually putting stuff up on YouTube so I was kind of mad that I didn't actually finish this game so correcting an issue correcting a problem but looking back I kind of wish I had played it no 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 Oh yeah, there's an after credit scene. So, what will it be? Stupid people who left, they don't get to see it. Um, Scotch. Single them out. Space eye. No ice. Huh. A man of taste. There you go. Whoa, whoa there, cowboy. Keep it coming. Huh. Oh, leave the bottle. 
Yeah. Looking a bit down. What's the matter? Ah, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I'll just drink this. Ah, don't look too good tonight. That was supposed to be the, uh, sequel hook for a game called Conquer's Other Bad Fur Day. That has never been made, and probably will never be made. Stupid logo. Yeah. Just gonna give it us a second, yeah, let it load into yeah. the game, see what, make sure we've got 100, well, I guess there's no such thing as 100% in this game. All you can miss is to... Mod. Bundles of money. Oh man, he's right back in there. Looks like he just left. Oh, yeah, gotta press the button. Alright, million dollars, seven hours, not bad. That does it for me today. And since nobody is watching, I guess I can just say goodbye. Bye-bye.